Happening now, a rally with union workers at the Cuyahoga County Department of Children and Family Services. They say it's a safety issue that social workers and others are facing increased violence with kids in custody attacking employees. Our Damon Maloney covering the story. How many social workers and their union leadership are outside of the Jane Edna Hunter building here on Euclid Avenue in Cleveland? They say that safety inside of the child care room at DCFS and the overnight process, the overnight care, has really spiraled out of control. So you can see the gathering right here. This rally is supposed to start at 4 o'clock. They're a few minutes behind. But Ask Me Ohio Council 8 told me that social workers and other county employees are being attacked weekly are facing threats by children, oftentimes teens, who are in the county's custody. Now, today I was able to confirm that two women DCFS employees have been charged with misdemeanor assault stemming from a physical altercation inside the Jane Edna Hunter Social Services Center. That altercation was with a teenager. Colleagues told me that workers were simply defending themselves, that there shouldn't be any charges, and reforms are needed to protect them and children. Problems at Jane Edna are no secret with the building now housing children who've experienced trauma and may have behavioral needs while they wait for foster care, treatment facilities, or other living arrangements. The county has admitted there is a placement crisis. The building simply wasn't designed for this, and Cuyahoga County Executive Chris Ronane knows it and is supporting the creation of what is being called a child wellness center. That's a place for children to stay and receive treatment and family resources until a more permanent arrangement can be found. This afternoon, the county told me that they have received four proposals for creating that center and will review them soon with the goal of opening the center by the end of the year. Now, the county did give us a statement this afternoon. They said that they are committed to the safety of workers and children and that they have made several changes, modifications to the building with safety in mind, and they have also added more staffing support to the child care room over the last year. We'll put the full statement up on our website, News5Cleveland.com. Reporting live in Cleveland, Damon Maloney, News 5.